Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how I do lower thirds on the Camera Fi Live app. So let's get right to it. So there's three main ways that I like to do it. The first way is if you just use your little wand here, click on it, you'll see several effects. And the one that we're going to work on, work on is this text effect here. Now these are animated lower thirds, or actually they don't have to be lower thirds, they're just animated texts. For example, we have a scroll area, we have some comments, etc. So this is the one I like to use right here. Click once to download it. That's what these little arrows mean. And then you're gonna click on it again. And as you can see, it says, please enter title. Okay, so we're going to change right here, instead of please enter title, we're going to put here, select all, Roberto S. Matthews. And then right here, we're going to add Musica Religiosa Studios. Okay. And basically, that's what we have. And that's the animation. Okay. Now, uh, the only problem that I can see with this, unfortunately, is that it uh, has trouble with if I wanted to add a second text area, I can't add the same type of text area. So you're limited to using just this once. And as you can see, until you turn it off with, and to turn it off, all you do is click it once. Um, it won't, it will, st it won't stop. Okay. Okay. So now, so that was the first way, which was pretty good, except that you can't move it anywhere. The other way to do it is to actually just add your text. So we're going to add text. So we can do Roberto S. Matthews. We can also add a second line. And you can add as many lines as you like, which is really nice about adding text. You can also add a background. Now, these are the backgrounds that they give you. I don't think there's any way to really uh, change your background. So let's go ahead and use this background here. Let's move this around. Make it a little bit bigger. And that's what that is. This grid is just to kind of show you how it's going to look. OK, so once we say OK. This, you can actually move around, you can resize it. Now, the problem I see with this one is in order to turn it on, you click the on button and it just kind of comes on. There's no animation to it, but in order to turn it off, you actually have to go to the text and say, turn it off. Now you can, of course, edit it if you'd like to, to change the, um, the names and all, but, uh, You cannot turn it off right here. There's no way to really turn off the uh, the text, unfortunately. So uh, that's that's a bummer there. So the only way to turn it off is to actually delete it, which is not a good thing. Now that leads us to the last way to add text or lower thirds, and that's to actually make your own PNG and then resize it. So you can make your own PEG several different ways. So what I have here is uh, I'm going to add a new video. It's going to be an image. Here's my image. I'm going to select it. Now, if I select it just like this, what will happen is it'll change to that video source. We don't want that. We want it to be a picture in picture. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to resize it here. And of course, we can put that anywhere. Let's put it down here. And then once we say OK, there it is. And of course, now, if you want it not to show up, all you have to do is turn off the PIP. Turn it off. Turn off the PIP. And now it doesn't show up. So those are three ways that you can add your lower third in uh, Camerafy Live. 
If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a beautiful day.